welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. A great big shout out to my channel members for supporting my channel. Thank you. All right, so it's actually been a couple of weeks since I've filmed. So what I'm going to do is show you the week that I've set up for the week going into April 8th. I'll show you the past few weeks and then I'll end as I have always done with the lunches that I filmed to catch me up through last week. So let's just get started. This is my A5 Hobonichi uh, Cousin logbook. I don't know why I had such a brain fart there. Uh, this is a leather logbook that I did buy from Hobonichi. It was released in 2022, but I did purchase mine the latter part of 2023. As you can see, it warehouses several different things. This side generally does not change. Uh, this is a logbook I keep for some work tasks that I do on a weekly basis. And this is my Hobonichi Weeks January Start Everyday Carry um, English Edition. And so I'm going to take this out. It's just easier. The only pen that actually stays in here is this one right here. It is a one piece pen. And honestly, I haven't even taken the cap off. Uh, when I'm traveling uh, between home and work, this is actually the only pen that I have. I've yet to need one, but I like knowing that I have one. And Zero is a character in one piece and he's probably my favorite character. So that's why all this is set up the way that it is. So I'm gonna get this out of the way. And as you guys know, I put my tab at the bottom of the ones that I use the most frequently. So this is the setup for the week, again, from the 8th through the 12th. That's my regular work week, although I do plan on working some hours on Saturday the 13th. I did this uh, vertical style a few weeks ago and I really loved the functionality of it. I didn't look at it close enough and I'll show you what I mean in, in just a little bit because I had taken those boxes all the way down. So when I show you the week that inspired this one, it actually still looks different and I love the flexibility of this because even though Hobonichi is set up in a horizontal fashion, I find that the lines are light enough that I can pretty much do whatever I want. And so I can uh, mix it up on a weekly basis if I want to. I can just lean into the format that it already has if I want to. And I can just make this as flexible and functional as I want. And that is one of the things that keeps me coming back to this and then also adding a little bit of deco. And I'm gonna tell you, these are two stickers that I had in my stash um, from at least the middle of last year, if not earlier. This sticker right here kind of freaks me out. Um, if I were to add little dots in the middle and it's a washi sticker, it kind of looks like a weird eyeball to me. So I saw that and it fit and I'm like, okay, well, it's weird and I don't know if I like it, but it's kind of funny because I don't know if I like it. And then in the same stash, I found this optician which I think is in French. Uh, and I'm like, okay, well, it's, it's a weird little <laughs> week, but I'm not mad at it, but it's also, it's, it's kind of like weird gross to me, like, um, holes. I, I know there's a word for it that I find those things gross as well. So just knowing that every day I'm going to be coming in here, I'm going to be looking at something that makes me feel weird and not like in a good way is, is also kind of hilarious to me because clearly I have issues. So I've got the week set up here and that's where I'm going to put my completed tasks. That's not a new thing. I've got a space for lunch and actually I'll put some lines and I'll show you how that works in just a second once that dries. I've got a place for notes for me to remind me of things to do for next week, the overtime that I work, and this one I specifically do for any weekend overtime. I actually work overtime pretty much every day during the week, but I just encompass that in my completed tasks. I've got a small little section here for thoughts. 
the way that it works for me is uh, whatever space I have available, I can write to the space. If I have a lot of space, but I don't have a lot of thoughts, I'll write bigger. If I have a small space and I have a lot of thoughts, I'll write smaller. And there's also some spillover area in the back if I wanted to journal. I'll put a quote here and then the word of the week here, and then a little bit of a mood tracker at the top. I do like seeing the week like this and it's usually somewhere on the page and it doesn't bother me that I can still see this. I don't feel the need to cover that up either with pen or with washi sticker because that would give a weird bulk plus I'm, I'm not too fussed about stuff like that. And then what those things do by way of the lines is it just gives me a little bit of structure to define the, the spaces between. And the notes I'll put like in a bullet format and then for the overtime I'll put the time that I start and finish as well as whatever tasks I've completed for that weekend. And so that's the setup. It's it's actually pretty standard by way of the components. They do switch around and that uh, keeps it interesting and fresh for me because I know people get bored with some of their planners and their journals. And so for me, this kind of combats that. This was last week. Last week, I uh, just leaned into the actual horizontal functionality of it, and I just used some stickers in my stash and that I have right in front of me. I was setting this up, I think, like Monday morning, didn't film, wasn't in the headspace to film, and I just decided to lean in to the actual layout and just not have to think. The word of the week was praxis, and that's a formal word referring to the practical application of theory. In other words, what one does to act on theory. And the quote was, I wish I had princess energy instead of gremlin energy, but here we are. <laughs> And I think you have to be of a certain age to actually get that reference. So very happy. Uh, this week here, I actually was on vacation. Uh, if you ordered anything Hobonichi for 2020, Four, which was the latter part of 2023, you got this little booklet and I just cut out uh, two of those things, stuck them on because I could not be fussed. <laughs> and what I did during vacation was I cooked quite a bit. I slept in, I read a lot, I colored a little bit, and I watched anime and some television. So it was a very, very relaxing vacation week. Honestly, uh, next week, I think it's the 18th and the 19th, I've taken some vacation days again. I've learned that I need to have at least one holiday or vacation day every single month just to keep my head kind of clear. And for April, there are no holidays, so yeah. This week is the week that inspired the current week. And as you can see, I should have taken this all the way down. Uh, if you're interested in the, the width of it, it basically is the width between the two dots here. This does not have the same dot thing because this one actually doesn't have any grid. You can only see the grid from the page in front of it. Um, but if you measure out this, then you can actually get uh, the exact same spaces for this side with two box remaining. And so that's how I have set it up there. And so the word of the week was tawdry. And that means cheap and gaudy in appearance or quality, often used to describe something morally bad or distasteful. And my thoughts and my quote pretty much interacted, which was hurry up vacation, I need a break. And then, because I actually put that in the wrong space, but my thoughts and my quote basically are essentially the same thing. As you guys know, I believe I filmed this. Uh, I just finished out the sticker sheets that I had been using for the previous few weeks. And I love doing that for a couple of reasons. One, I love seeing an empty sticker sheet. But two, I also like seeing, okay, let's say you have very limited supplies by way of stickers or washi uh, with limited stickers and some colorful water-based markers and Crayolas would work. I just, my Tombos are out in front of me, my Crayolas I got to dig for. Uh, you can make things look absolutely different and yet it's still pretty seamless because you're using the same sticker sheets. So there definitely seems to be a theme 
if you're looking closely at some of the deco aspects, but just changing up the placement, changing up um, how you're putting your planner, but also changing up the focus color, like this one was a golden color, this was pink, and this was sort of like a highlighty light orange color it absolutely changes up um, how the the look of it is and so you know you don't have to worry about getting bored but you also don't have to worry about having a ton of different supplies and i love that although i have a ton of different supplies so i don't need to do that but i do like to challenge myself uh, with that sort of thing uh, every once and again anyway that is the setup with the whatever that weirdness is for this week. I'll go ahead and end the video catching up with everything I've eaten up and through the 5th of April. All right, guys, well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha. Hey guys, lunch for today, Monday, March 18th, is a tan tan men bowl. I didn't use the seasoning. I'm actually gonna just toss that. And instead I used shoyu, wasabi, and a little bit of butter. Uh, I've got some leftover Spam, cabbage, and we had some fried eggs yesterday, but I don't heat those up, so that's just cold with some shoyu. Um, again, with wasabi, I've already had coffee this morning, water throughout, first meal of the day. All right, that's it for me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, lunch for today, Tuesday, March 19th, is leftovers. Um, a couple of nights ago, we had some barbecue chicken wings. We buy the frozen bag from Costco and just heat it in the air fryer, and it comes out really good. Last night, we had some mac and cheese. There was just a little bit of iceberg left. More ranch, or dill ranch dressing than you'd probably think, but what else eat? Lettuce, water throughout, coffee this afternoon, first meal of the day. That's it for me today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Wednesday, March 20th, is a combination. <clears throat> so we had corned beef and cabbage and potatoes on Sunday for uh, St. Patrick's Day. So mm -hmm. I just sauteed that with some salt, pepper, and garlic powder and added some green onions. I made a quick kimchi fried rice with some microwavable rice we can get from Costco kimchi also from Costco, an egg and some green onion. I've got a side of kimchi, a very cabbage heavy lunch, and ketchup for that right there. I do have a passion iced tea. I will have an iced coffee later. And that's it for today. First meal of the day, water throughout. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, lunch for today is some leftovers. <laughs> big surprise. So we actually had Jolly Bee's fried chicken a couple of nights ago. So with the leftovers, I chopped that up, added a can of canned chicken breast, mayonnaise and Mrs. Dash. And so that's what's in here. This is some kimchi, some hot rice or white rice that I've heated up. Here I've got some uh, wasabi and shoyu. I'm actually going to pour that over this. And then on the rice, I'm going to add some nori flakes water throughout. My coworker did purchase a, I think it's a salty cream cold brew for me. And so I'm having that throughout the day, first meal of the day. So yeah, that's it for me. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Friday, March 22nd is uh, actually not, well, the sausage is left over, but the uh, uh, corned beef and cabbage is canned corned beef sauteed with onions and cabbage. I've got some buttered rice and of course ketchup because ketchup is life. I've got a bottle of water and I actually still have some uh, passion tea, iced passion tea from Starbucks. It's kind of my new obsession from them. I've had it before, but I don't know why it's just so delightful again. Uh, it's first meal of the day, water throughout, and definitely a hot coffee later on this afternoon. I am on vacation all of next week, so I won't be filming any lunches. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys had a great week. Uh, happy Easter if you celebrate, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, lunch for today, Monday, April 1st, is a burger. So for Easter, we actually barbecued. Very first time we did that, but I'm happy, so there's going to be leftovers for a few days. So I've got a burger on an onion bun. We have some fried potatoes left over from yesterday. Uh, I warmed it up, but then added some vinaigrette. And then I've got some pickles, 
water throughout, first meal of the day, and I definitely will have a hot coffee later. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I'm in a conference right now, but uh, lunch for today is hamburger steak. There's actually rice underneath that, extra rice, and some steamed veg. So I've got water and probably coffee when I get home. So that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys. Lunch for today is a turkey sandwich on a huge bolillo roll with butter, turkey, and mustard. I've got some cut up pickles, some cool ranch Doritos, and an orange juice. First meal of the day, water throughout, and definitely a coffee this afternoon because it's cold. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you guys. Hey tomorrow. guys, lunch for today, Thursday, April 4th, is two slices of pizza. This is pepperoni and pineapple, and that's a supreme pizza. I took off most of the olives. I do not like olives. I've got an apple with that and some ranch I found in the fridge at home. First meal of the day, water throughout. I actually have not had coffee yet, and I don't know that I will. I might actually just skip coffee for today. Um, I usually like to have coffee earlier in the day, but between various meetings and whatnot, I just ran out of time. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, lunch for today, Friday, April 5th is just some things. So it's microwavable rice we get from Costco, some corn, um, and I've buttered the corn with salt and pepper. There is some leftover barbecue chicken from a pizza night we had this week. So I just deboned it and then um, the last hot dog from the Easter barbecue. I've got a passion tea up there and some water. Gatorade's actually from last night. Probably have that with dinner later. Uh, this is the first meal of the day, water throughout, and definitely a coffee this afternoon. All right, hope you guys had or have a great weekend. Bye.